Nigeria's Labour Party has named Donyi Okupe as the vice presidential candidate to Peter Obi, who is the presidential candidate of the party, but in the placeholder capacity to beat uh, today's deadline set by the electoral body, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. A top leader of the Labour Party who confirmed this to Arise News said the party is still making wide consultations for a suitable vice presidential candidate to be, but that Okupe's name was temporarily submitted. Well, Dr. Doni Okupe is the current Director General of the Peter Obi Presidential Campaign Council. In the 2023 general elections timetable released by INEC in February, the deadline for the substitution of presidential or vice presidential candidates is July 15 this year. And some political parties are currently taking advantage of this window, including the APC, to name placeholder running mates. And Doyen Okupe joins us now in the studio to discuss more on this. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Okupe. Good evening. Good evening. First of all, I'm not sure if it's right for me to just say congratulations. <laughs> well, you should. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day you get announced as Come to think of it. Come to think of it. But really, the question is, why is this so difficult? What's it's going not, on? It's, it's, not, it's not an issue of difficulty. Okay. You know, in, in, in our party, you must uh, understand what really is going on. Okay. We came into this party exactly three weeks away, I mean, ago, on the, on the 29th of, uh, of May. So, you know, it's a new party. And really speaking, you know, we, we really were out to win the election. Mm. We're, not, we're not just competing in the election. We're not one of those uh, candidates or, uh, you know, who just want to get a name by competing. We want to win. Okay. And the support, the massive support that we're getting from Nigerian people and the encouraging, you, you know, teaming youthful turnout is so massive that we cannot afford to toy with anything. Okay. So what we decided to do is to try and put together uh, uh, a massive, big, robust coalition of you know, political parties and tendencies, including youth organizations, you know, uh, groups and all that. Okay, now, to do that, you know, if we're going to do that, uh, if we if we now really say this is the first presidential candidate, you know, before you know agreements and things are in place, mm -hmm. it may stand in the in the in the way of actually forming either an alliance or a merger, uh, all of which are options that are on the table for okay, us. Okay, so I like that you said you are not toying with anything. We cannot. But I mean. You are a Christian from southern Nigeria, just as the presidential candidate, uh, Mr. Peter will be. Even as a placeholder, does it mean no northerner caught, uh, made the court to beat this deadline? Uh, with the discussion and conversation of the dichotomy between the north and the south and Muslim, Muslim, Christian, Christian ticket, couldn't you have put a northerner? If it's not, if it's not uh, totally definitive, such considerations may not be too too important mm. and especially if it's not against either the nigerian constitution or the uh, provisions of the electoral act so you know a placeholder is a placeholder but talking about your part and the decision you know to make this whole narrative or debate you know around religion and, and um, ethnicity um, is it a priority really when it comes to making that decision for your party you keep on talking about doing things differently is it going to be the same for the Labour Party or completely different? We will do, the Labour Party will do what is right and what the Nigerian people are aspiring for. And definitely. Which is? Ultimately, you know, which is, which, has, which, has, which has got to do with equity, equity, which has got to do with fairness and all that. So definitely when the chips are down, you can be sure that the Labour Party will do what is just and what is right. What informed the choice of a Donyo Okupe? Whose decision was this? Is, was it that of the presidential candidate? The presidential candidate, for a fact. Solely? In consultation with the party. So why a Donyo and, and, not, and not just the party, also uh, major stakeholders around the country were also informed. And there were no oppositions. Why a Donyo Okupe? <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> Now, the question we may asking is, you know, it seems it's just much ado about a position that's actually been described as ceremonial. And so my question really is, with the back and forth that's been experienced, or the delay, or the placeholder position, or whatnot, that we call it, is this a way of saying that 
who, whoever emerges as the vice presidential candidate for your party will be much more than just a ceremonial head. You know, I, if, you know uh, this, this position I'm holding is until the, the substitution window closes in July. Of course. And really speaking, you know, what we are all about is trying to find a space for young people to come over. I see. All right? That's what we're doing. That, I mean, this, that is the secret behind this. There's no reason why a man like me, you know, should be doing, you know, but I, I'm doing it as a major sacrifice. Um, you know, like I, you know, I, I said somewhere else, you know, you, you know my, my form is big, okay. is huge, but, and my back is quite broad. So, you know, I'm willing to lay down my back for young people to come and, you know, like a, like a life coach, you know, so that young people can climb and use us to get to the top. So and that is the opinion of the, of the, of, of the president. So, so it's safe to say that for the Labour Party, we might be expecting a younger person. I can tell you categorically that whoever is going to be the Labour Party president will be somebody far, far, far younger than the present candidate who is 61. Interesting times ahead. Okay, so there are reports. I mean, you talked about secrets, so perhaps you will let out more tonight. Uh, there are reports that you've been consulting with other parties we and have been. a possible merger. We have uh, been. In I particular, can tell you the, way the NFPP. We have been talking to P PRP, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, I've led most of the discussions. Okay. We have been talking to NNPP. Mm -hmm. We have been talking to SDP. Mm -hmm. And some of our stakeholders are also talking to other parties. Look, it is, it is a big coalition that we see this project through. Uh, so, one, is that a third force? Two, in the case of an NNPP, for instance, yeah. what is the thinking? Does a Peter Obi become the vice president while a Senator Kwan Kwan so becomes the presidential candidate? What is Number the one, thinking? he said, is this, is this going to be the third force? Yes. It is for the first time. You know, we've been talking about third force, third force. Mm -hmm. But for the first time, mm -hmm. a real third force, you know, in form of a huge coalition, is alive. And it's being led by, you know, uh, Peter Obi. That's the truth. But, you know, that's why we're waiting. That's why we want to carry everybody on board to make sure that everybody is with us. Because... You know, this long distance race is a serious one. Now, as for uh, NNPP, all options are on the table. All options are on the, t on the table. We will take a political, if and when we come to that, we will take a political decision that will be something that will drive forward our aspiration, which is to clinch. The, pres the presidency ultimately. Okay. That's what we're going to do. All right, clearly, we're going to be hearing more of that, hopefully before that deadline. Yes. Because the window is still open. Yes, but um, for now, as I'm it is. Again, congratulations. Again, congratulations. Well, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much um, yes. for for that, um, you know, input <laughs> on the news here tonight. Who knows? He might just be the name because, you, you know, know, he has already told us a younger candidate uh -huh. will definitely be stepping forward. Surprises ahead when it comes to the Labour Party. Thank you once again.